This is the Typhon wallet on Cardano. And in this video, we're going to be downloading and installing this wallet and doing a high level analysis, just kind of showing you some of the features of what it's capable of. We will not be able to go through all of the super rich features that the wallet does have, but maybe we can make a second video or I will link some other videos in the description of this video that I personally watched before thinking about downloading this myself. This is the first time I've downloaded the Typhon wallet. So we're gonna be doing this together and I will show you step-by-step -step how you can do it, how you can download it on your Chrome browser and how you can use utilize it. You'll want to navigate to the Typhon wallet website. I'll put it in the description down below and you will want to access the Typhon wallet. Now there is two kind of options here, access Typhon wallet and download the extension. When you hit this access Typhon wallet, it kind of like opens like a browser wallet. That's not like actually on your uh, Chrome extension. So in my personal opinion, you'll want to download the extension with this button right here and then choose your browser. I'm gonna go with Chrome. And the same as all the other wallets, you're gonna wanna add that to your Chrome. You'll have to click like all the terms and conditions. And then it automatically is gonna pop open this window right here. And you have three options, create a wallet, import a wallet, or you can connect your hardware wallet. The type in wallet will support Ledger Nano S, X and Trezor model T. So if you have one of those, you can use the hardware wallet functionality, but if you do not, um, or if you still wanna create a browser-based wallet, I will create a wallet. Once you click that create wallet function, it's gonna take you to create a password. You're gonna to wanna to name your wallet um, and then put a password. I'm gonna fill this in and then cut it out and skip to the next part and show you what's after. Once you have this filled in, you wanna to agree to the terms and condition and hit continue. This will then take you to your mnemonic seed phrase where you have an option of doing 12, 15, or 24 words seed phrase. Now I will always highly recommend you go with the 24 word seed phrase it takes just like one extra minute to write the extra, you know, 10 words down that it is, but 12 is going to be the least secure because you only have 12 words securing your wallet. 24 will be the most secure. I'm going to go with 24. I will switch over to my 24, write it down, go to the next screen, and then I'll meet you there. After you go ahead and write down your seed phrase, you'll click the next button and it'll ask you to fill in the words missing from your seed phrase. You'll just want to punch in those extra words that are missing in order to verify that you've written down your password or your seed phrase correctly. Then you will come to this page where it says a single address wallet or an HD wallet. Single address basically means that your public key is your public address is the same all the time, no matter how many transactions you send. Your receive address is always going to be the same. An HD wallet kind of has your public key or transaction key or receive address changing per transaction. Uh, Euroi does this, Daedalus does this. Uh, I used to use Euroi when I first started and it always kind of confused me that it was always changing. Um, some people say it's more secure. Some people say that single address is gonna be the way that most wallets will just be in the future and that HD is not gonna be as utilized. So in this video, we're just gonna pick single address wallet. This is kind of like how Nami and all those, uh, all the other wallets work. So we're gonna click that. now. Here you'll be able to see the basic layout of the wallet. You have your homepage, staking portal, assets, catalyst voting, and then contacts like an address book. You can put other people's receive address in there. So you don't have to keep remembering like who is this person's receive address or have them text it to you or something like that whenever you want to send them something. You can see up here at the top, we have what our current epoch is. Um, and then how many hours, days, or minutes we have left in the epoch. Currently have 20 hours left until staking rewards are pumped out. Current market cap of ADA is 10 billion. That's a lot lower than I, that's a lot lower than I thought it was, but it's currently $10 billion at a 30 cent ADA. And then you can see up here, it's just like my wallet name and then like my account. Um, so here is where you'll be sending ADA. This is where you're going to put like someone's receive address, how much you want to send. And then you will, in a transaction on the Typhon wallet, you can add ADA, you can add other tokens, you can add NFTs, you can add multiple people to send things to. So all that functionality is here in the wallet. We're not going to go over it in this video. We're just going to talk about setting this thing up, but that will all be available in this token. Down here, you'll be able to see your recent transactions, anything you've sent or received. And then here will be your wallet balance. I currently have no ADA. And here should be your staking reward balance. If you want to receive something from someone else or from like JPEG store or something, this is your receive address right here. You can just simply copy the address or use the QR code. Now, one awesome functionality, uh, let's do the dark mode real quick. This is the dark mode compared to the light mode. But what I wanted to show you, I'm gonna move myself to the left over here, is this account section. This is one of the coolest features I saw watching um, a different YouTube video. I believe it's like Blue Mountain something. I can pull it up real quick. YouTube, these guys here. 
these people right here, Woodland Pools, these, I'm going to put their channel in the description because I was watching them. They have like five videos on the type in wallet and uh, some, there's one really good one I'll put in my description, but they describe this thing right here, this account where Typhon automatically sets you up with five accounts. So these are like five different places where you can store ADA or store assets. You can make like account number two, your NFT address, and this your uh, ADA staking address. Or if you want to stake to multiple stake pools in Cardano, say you want to delegate to like uh, one pool here, one pool here, one pool here, one pool here, you can do that. You can split your ADA delegations via these different accounts. But one cool thing that the team over at Woodland Pools recommended is that you can come in here and you can unlock multiple accounts up to 10. But another thing you can do is come in here and flip this pro setting down here, right here at the bottom left, you can flip the pro setting and you can type any number that you want in here. So you can put 1000. And if I were to unlock that, then I would have um, account number 1000 available to me. So you can see, let me show you again here. We can see that this is account number one through 10. They call these accounts. But if you were to put in account number 1000, it wouldn't necessarily show up here, but it would be available to you. So it's kind of like a secret account that only you know about. Account 1000 would not show up in this list right here. It wouldn't show up right here. Um, I know for certain it wouldn't show up right here. I don't remember from the video or not if it shows up in this section. I don't believe it does. But if you were to toggle pro and you wanted to access that account, all you'd have to do is type in the 1000 again, unlock it, and you'd be able to see it. So that is another feature that is really cool on this Typhon wallet via the accounts. Here we can read this, which says, um, on logout login, Typhon will display only five accounts by default. Your funds and other accounts are not lost. You can manually add or unlock extra accounts as you need for storing your funds in certain scenarios. So these kind of like separate address functionality um, is a way that you can kind of be more secure with these uh, public addresses. So on Cardano, anyone can track anyone, right? If you know who's uh, someone's address is, you can trace it, you can watch it move around. But if you have a wallet like this that has one private key, but multiple addresses working in and out from it, it's really hard to trace all these different things back to one wallet. This is just another way that you know, Typhon and other people are allowing more more people to have like security or usability of their own funds how they want to. This is not a secure, you know, it's still all public. People can figure out who these accounts belong to. But, you know, this functionality, this pro functionality and the fact of different accounts, different delegations, different, you know, NFTs here, staking here, staking here again, you really have more power. The other thing to note is that if you lose your seed phrase, all of these accounts are compromised, okay? So just because they're in different accounts does not mean that they're more secure. If somebody has access to your wallet, they have access to all these accounts. They have access, they will definitely have access to accounts one through five because those are automatically unlocked. Now, if you went in here, went pro, punched in account 1051, and then it was locked like this, they probably wouldn't even know that that account existed. So they probably wouldn't be able to get any ADA out of the wallet if they hacked the wallet, I'm assuming, because they wouldn't know the account number that you randomly have stored in your brain. So Typhon won't actually store those random pro numbers that you, you put in. Like you say you put account 784, Typhon will not put 784 here somewhere. So that's just something that you will have to remember in your mind. If you decide to go that route, you will need to write down what your account is and store it with like your seed phrase or store it somewhere safe because this is not records that they're taking control of at all. It's 100% your decision to choose a random number. And if you lose that random account number, then you lose the funds in that account technically if they're non-accessible. I went down here and clicked the settings page. You will have some other settings. You can add your collateral, which is required for smart contracts in Cardano. Uh, 
And then you will also have the ability, like we showed it when the setup process at HD versus single address, you will have the ability to convert that here. So if you wanted to go to an HD account, you can either set up a new wallet or convert it right here. Again, 90% of us will only want to use a single address account. It's just easier in normal daily DeFi life. The last thing I want to touch on is just the little browser extension up here and what that looks like. Here we can see we're on Cardano mainnet. You have the option to choose, you know, if you want to go play on testnet at all. We uh, can see the functionality of ADA. You can hide your balance in case maybe you're like me recording something or you're in a public environment when you're looking at your, maybe your receive address or something. You have the ability to hide that balance, send just like a normal, you can put a receive address and the amount or details of what you want to send. Here is your receive address. You can copy this or use the QR code and you can see this says account number one. Then up top, we would be able to switch into our other accounts. If we wanted to use a different receive address, we can see our assets, any NFTs or tokens that we have. I currently do not have any because I just set this up. And then settings, we'll have all of our settings as in the uh, large scale window that we're looking at here. Also, if you want to Go in light and dark mode, you can right here, and you should be able to expand to then come to this web page if you're on a desktop and you want to come to the web page. I also wanted to take a second and come over here. Let's look at the staking portal. Okay, so yeah, I don't have any funds in the staking section, so it might not let me stake anything. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, the assets are going to look like that, same as in the, the non expandable browser version. Catalyst voting. This part's really interesting because you know, uh, I haven't seen a wallet where you can vote in Catalyst in like this really, but you can download the Catalyst voting app. This will probably be like your uh, receipt, like some way to send money into Catalyst, um, but that's your QR code. It says 508 is the minimum amount required to be able to register and participate in voting. You need to delegate your data to register for voting. And then a lot of useful links right here. And it can say that we're Catalyst Fund 9. Actually, we're in Catalyst Fund 10 coming up. The Catalyst Fund 9 is already passed. But if you want to use this wallet in Catalyst Fund 10, I'm sure this will update when that time comes around. The last feature is going to be your contacts. How do we add a contact? Oh, here we go. I'm going to pull myself up here. We can add a contact and you'll be able to come in here and say like, uh, John, that's like, say it's my best friend's name is John and I want to add his ADA handle or his receive address. I can add him and then John will just always be right here and I can send money to him or let's say it's like work. I can send money to work, you know, if this was like in a corporate setting, but, or say it's my like barista, right? Coffee. Um, but this is how you can store address. You don't have to always have those receive addresses memorized or written down somewhere or in a text message, stuff like that. It's just inconvenient. This is a lot more user-friendly way to go about it. So that right there is the Typhon wallet currently on Cardano. I think it's really feature rich. I think it's a pretty smooth, good UI, good UX, and I look forward to using it. I have not used it yet because I just installed it for the first time. And I'll probably be deleting that one because a couple of my seed word phrases were shown. So I'll probably delete that one, reinstall a new one for myself. But this is going to be the wallet I've, you know, I've used NAMI before. I've used the other wallets. So I want to use this wallet and actually give it a good shot. Um, buy some ADA with it, do some DeFi with it, see how it works, see how you know smooth the receiving transactions are, the sending is, and see what NFT is looking like in it. Maybe I'll do another updated video, some more feature-rich things that the wallet has to offer. But so far, I really like what I have to see. And I haven't heard a whole lot about the type and wallet from like people in the community. Usually people say like NAMI, Eternal, Uroi, Daedalus. So I really want to check this wallet out, give it some time, give it some love and see kind of just what it's like. Maybe this video has inspired you to test it out. Always, you know, test out with just a little ADA, see what it's like before putting a whole lot of money into it. Um, make sure it's secure. Re you can read the documentation on their website. You can read their uh, FAQ if you have any questions um, uh, or follow them on Twitter. Ask the team if you have any things like that. Other than that, if you have any other questions for me, please put them in the comments. If there's another wallet or product you'd like for me to look at, if you like the video, please subscribe or drop a comment below. I'd be happy to answer any questions or, you know, take any recommendations of the next project. We have a lot more videos coming out, a lot of products pushing to 200 subscribers by the end of this month. So let's see if we can get there before 2023 comes around. We're currently at about 166, I think. So only about 40 more to go. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great night. God bless.